Hi you guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. Today I am doing a super style focused video. I'm going to be sharing all of the most worn pieces and my favorite items in my wardrobe. When I was putting this together, I was kind of surprised what items stood out the most to me some of them definitely don't scream basics but i find myself wearing them at least once a week i'm such an outfit repeater i wear my pieces over and over again kind of the best thing that you can do for your wallet also in terms of sustainability we don't need to constantly be consuming new pieces and if we are going to shop we need to do it more thoughtfully and make sure we're purchasing pieces that we're actually going to use and also either from brands that make things responsibly or from a source like a secondhand source or a clothing swap i recently did a swap with some of my friends and it was super fun i feel like all of the pieces i have to share with you guys are so personal to me and my style so many of them i've been wearing for years a really cool company called quince that you guys may or may not have heard of is actually sponsoring a portion of this video i have a few pieces from them to share with you guys that i have been wearing constantly since i received them Quince's whole mission is to make incredibly high quality pieces that are made in a sustainable way available to consumers at radically low prices. They're able to achieve these lower prices because they completely cut out the middlemen and handle every step of the item's creation themselves. They make a lot of great everyday basic pieces that are super high quality and made to last. So I'm going to show you the pieces that I picked out from them a few months ago and I have been wearing a lot since. Everything is black, of course. Black is definitely the most worn color in my wardrobe. The first piece is a t-shirt dress. I've honestly never put on a more flattering basic dress in my life. I've been wearing this all the time and it's gonna be such a summer staple. It's primarily made of tinsel, which is a sustainable wood pulp fiber. It tends to be very soft with a lot of drape, but what I really like about this dress is that there's extra lining in it. So it really hugs you in all the right places while still being really comfy. And this dress is actually only $39.90, which is a price that you really can't beat. And then lastly, I have two of their super soft fleece products. I've been wearing this zip up hoodie constantly both in more fashion-y outfits and also just for like walking my dog in the park or going hiking and let me tell you it is so so comfy i feel like a black zip-up hoodie is such a good staple to have in your wardrobe i got mine in a size up a size large so that it would be a bit more oversized and i really love the fit of this and the price on this is only 34 dollars 90 and then i also have their super soft fleece drawstring shorts this is such a summer staple i wear it lounging around the house also like i said earlier to the park walking my dog going hiking which is such a big part of my life and as i already mentioned this fabric is seriously so comfy and the price on these is 29 dollars 90 so if you guys want to check out quince i will have their website linked down below along with the products that i mentioned i think it's totally worth checking out and they have so many other good products as well. I also tried out one of their candles. I'm such a candle girl and I will definitely be buying more of these. They absolutely feel like a luxury quality candle at a lower price point. Quince also has other items for the home like sheets, comforters, linen napkins, cashmere throws, rugs. I think it's definitely worth checking out. So thank you so much again to Quince for sponsoring this video. And now I'm gonna get into all of the other pieces I have to share with you guys. I feel like I have so many shoes to share with you guys i've grouped them into categories i tend to have two or three pairs of shoes in each category they all fulfill a different desire for me but some of them can be quite similar shoes and accessories are really where i tend to express my personal style and it's also where i tend to invest the most i think all of these shoes that i have here are from luxury brands a lot of them have been purchased secondhand or on sale, but I really think investing in footwear is super worth it, especially if you're going to take good care of them. I always get my shoes resold. I've repaired a couple of these more than once. I also really quickly want to give a shout out to one of my close friends, Sam. She has started a styling service called Lata. You might have seen her TikToks. I feel like they've been doing really well lately, but her whole mission with her service and her content is focused around actually using your wardrobe and not shopping more. She's super involved in sustainability activism. I think a lot of you guys would really like her content or enjoy her service. If that's something that you're interested in, I will have her linked below. I 
think what she's doing is so so cool the sun is very in and out today so i'm sorry if the lighting is changing a lot in this video i tend to use natural lighting so that can happen a lot my first category is a good lace-up boot this is my go-to these are possibly my favorite shoe that I own, possibly my most worn shoe. I wear them even during the summer. These are by Ange Millimeester. I purchased these secondhand. Ange Millimeester boots are definitely some of the highest quality shoes I've ever owned in my entire life. They tend to make the same shoes season after season, so they really have their production process nailed down. They're not cheap, but the same styles tend to go on sale during end of season sales, and they also pop up in the secondhand market a lot. I love wearing Wearing these with shorts and skirts they're so cool and they really toughen up any outfit then my other shoe that fits in this category i used to wear these a lot more i haven't been wearing them so much lately sometimes they feel a little too small for me now i think my feet may have grown the slightest bit these are bickenberg boots i also purchased these second hand they're really cool lace of boots there are so many different styles of these i'll try to find some second hand ones and link them down below these are an option of boots that i've gotten Resold, I go to Eric Shoe Repair on the Lower East Side. He mainly does like workwear kind of boots and resoling, so he always makes my shoes a lot more comfy and they feel a lot more supportive. They don't make a really loud noise when you're walking, which I personally really like. So these are a great ankle kind of lace up boot. And then I have my Tabby boots. I wear these all the time. I have Tabby pumps as well. But I have the boots in black and brown if you're thinking about getting a pair of these. Just do it. As long as you feel comfortable and like confident enough to wear them because I know some people don't. I feel like it's kind of normal now. I also live in New York though and I feel like I see them a lot. I find them super comfy. I got this pair new and this pair second hand. There's a lot in the second hand market. Some people definitely say that the older ones are of higher quality. I haven't really been able to tell a difference but if you can find a pair on sale or second hand, I say go for it. And next we have a tassel loafer. This is kind of what I'm talking about when I say like basics that don't scream basic. This has been my most worn or one of my most worn shoes for like five years now. They're so well broken in. I've had them repaired multiple times. One of the tassels came off and I got it repaired. They've been resold a few times. The sole used to be a bit thinner. I actually added a platform to them, but it's starting to wear off because I haven't had them resold in a little over a year now. And then I also have this red pair by a brand called Office and Creative. These are a bit thicker and have a bit more of a platform. And then I have like going out shoes. This I would wear more casually and in like more of a professional work setting as well, but these are the Caperni bridge boots. They're super comfy. Kind of a shorter heel. I don't actually have them in here right now, but I have Rico and Stiletto boots that I completely beat up going out that I got on the Real Real second hand. Those are definitely my go-to going out shoes. And then for more of a summer shoe, I love a Birkenstock. These are Jill Sander black suede Birkenstocks, but just the normal Birkenstocks are great too. And then just an easy like flat top sandal. These are by Common Projects. I also found them on the Real Real. I love a Birkenstock sandal as well. And then maybe you're thinking, where are the sneakers? I don't really wear sneakers very often as like an actual part of an outfit. But I do wear them pretty much every day when I go to the park or for walks or longer errands. And I love Hoka shoes for that. Mine are pretty dirty from hiking and the park so i don't have them in here but hoka are definitely my favorite active shoes if you guys want to see a separate video or like a separate segment and a vlog coming up with all of my like favorite hiking and like activewear kind of brands and gear that i have i can definitely do that because that's actually what I'm wearing most of the time, I feel like. So I didn't want this video to be a giant ad for my own brand, Stats Ballet. If you're new here, I have a unisex fashion brand. We also have a huge focus on sustainability and local production. We make a lot of high quality basics that have a bit of an edge to them, basics that I was searching for but was never really able to find. We also make a lot of cool jewelry. I pretty much only wear our jewelry wearing the heirloom ring now and also our oxidized hoops some necklaces that i wear almost every day any other jewelry you see me wear that's not on our website we're probably in the process of making it here are some other basics from my brand that are everyday kind of pieces in my wardrobe i love our canvas pants i pretty much only wear our pants unless 
I'm looking for denim, which we don't make. Here are some of our different pants styles. I love our canvas pants. I love our linen pants and our linen shorts. Also, our braided skirt is a great kind of black mini skirt that has some nice details and the ability to show as much or little skin as you like through the braid. And of course, our drifter long sleeves. These are just long sleeve organic cotton organically dyed tees with thumb holes. They are such a good basic. I don't wear them that much in the summer unless it's cooler, but I definitely live in them in the fall and winter. So now to get into some clothing pieces that I didn't make. I said a jumpsuit is one of my most worn pieces. This is more of a recent most worn piece. I'm wearing one right now. I have another one to share with you guys too. This one is by the brand McHugh, which is an Alexander McQueen diffusion line. They actually gifted this to me and they kind of got me started on this jumpsuit vibe that I don't think I would have typically went for. This one's padded. It's a really nice khaki brown. I'm currently wearing it belted in. This belt is definitely a big staple in my wardrobe as well. It's a two-piece belt. I love basics that you can wear multiple different ways. So you can wear it as the thinner belt or you can attach the wider piece to it, which is really nice for wearing with dresses or jumpsuits like this. My other jumpsuit is a long sleeve, kind of similar version to this. I found this secondhand and it is by Isabel Moran. I love to wear this a bit more feminine with some heels and jewelry. It's really such a good no-brainer outfit, which is something that I love. Next is a leather coat or a leather jacket. This is actually vegan leather from a brand called Aparis, and this is a leather trench. I always get told I look like I'm in the matrix when I wear this, but I love it so much. I would honestly love to have like a floor length version of this. I've been looking for one vintage for such a long time and I can't find a good one that's not insanely priced. I always get a little stumped in the summer and kind of like in a fashion rut when I can't wear my favorite jackets and coats because they're such core parts of my wardrobe. This is a piece that I definitely wasn't expecting being my most worn piece because it's absolutely a memorable piece. This is kind of like an impulse secondhand buy. It's this Rigoans over dyed canvas jacket. For some reason, I still have this like leather tag in it. I need to take that out. I've worn this at least like 50 times since I got it. And yeah, this somehow just looks good with so many different outfits. I would wear it with what I'm wearing today. And it fits so well. I love Rick Owens pieces. Another Rick Owens piece I have. And this just kind of represents like a cooler, black top. I feel like any of my black tops, they have to have some cool cut or detail to them and that's what makes them interesting to me. I have a couple different Rick Owens tanks. I would also suggest buying these on sale during end of season sales or second hand. This is a one shoulder piece. They're so comfy, so flattering. I have a halter one from Rick Owens as well that I wear a lot. I just think it's a really good summer staple. And then I have some jeans which are relatively new to my wardrobe, but I've worn them so much since I got them and they're by the brand A Gold. This is their Lana Mid-Rise full length jean in the gray wash. I definitely want to get another wash of these. I was never a denim girl until these jeans I would always wear like my canvas pants for my own brand or more of a tailored trouser. These are genuinely really comfy, really flattering, the perfect cut. So I will have links below for any of these pieces that I can find links for. I want to hear what your most worn pieces are in your wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you super soon with a new one and I'll catch up with you later. Bye!